Hey guys, it's Ryan from Simply Duo, and in today's video, I will be showing you how to solve the yellow face on a Rubik's Cube. Make sure to watch all the videos before this one in the How to Solve a Rubik's Cube Beginning Method playlist, which will be linked in the top right corner and in the description. But you need to watch it because we are continuing on from solving the middle layer. So you will need to watch all those videos in the playlist to be able to solve the yellow face. Anyways, without further ado, let's solve the yellow face. So in this video, I will be teaching you how to make your cube go from this to this. This is the yellow face. So there are two main parts to solving the yellow face in the beginner's method. The first part is to get the yellow cross like this. After the middle layer, your cube can be in five different situations or cases. Case one is when there are no cross pieces at all. So these are the cross pieces. So here, 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 and here. If there are no yellow pieces on these cross pieces, see there's no yellow ones, then you have case one. So case one is when there's just a center piece. So you can easily identify case one if you look at the yellow centerpiece and see if it is touching any other yellow pieces. As you can see, it is not touching any other yellow pieces. Note that some yellow pieces can be in the corners, like here, there are yellow pieces in the corner, but you still have case one because there are no edges. Case two is when there are two edge pieces that are yellow in the cross, but they are not opposite. The two yellow edge pieces are right next to each other like this, see? So they're next to each other and almost in a little L shape. Note that there are variants of case two, where corners might be next to the edge pieces like this. This is still case two. So all you have to do to identify case two is you have to look if there are two edge pieces connecting to the center pieces and make sure that they are not opposite like this. Case three is when the yellow edge pieces are opposite like this. One easy way to identify this is to look if the edges and the center make a straight line. So here we can see that the two edges and the center, they all make a straight line like this. Case four is when after already doing the middle layer, then the cross pieces like this, they are already solved. That is rare, but it can happen. And we will be getting into case four later in the video. Lastly, case five is like this, when after you do the middle layer, the whole yellow face is already solved. This is very rare, but again, it can still happen. When you get case five, you got something called an OLL skip. This is when you skip the whole yellow face after solving the middle layer. So let's talk about case one first. To get case one to the yellow cross, follow these steps. Hold the cube from any side and do this algorithm. F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. And now, as you can see, we have case three, where the yellow edges are opposite from each other. So now since we have case three, we're going to cover it before case two. So this is case three right here where they're opposite. So when doing case three, before you do the algorithm, you have to hold the cube so that the straight line here is horizontal. So you cannot hold the cube like this and start doing the algorithm. You have to hold it like this. So it's hold it horizontal that way and not vertical, which is this way. So hold it this way, then do this algorithm. F R U R prime, U prime, F prime. And that should give us the yellow cross. Note that there is a corner piece here, but this is still the yellow cross because all of the cross pieces are correct and they are yellow. We will talk more about this later in the video. Now for case two, hold the cube so that the yellow edges of the cube are in the top left. So we can see that they're in the top left over here, like this. Now do the first algorithm of case one. It went like this, F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. And now you have the yellow cross solved. So case four already has the yellow cross solved. So now we can focus on getting the yellow face from the yellow cross. Now your cube will be in one of eight different situations. The first situation is if your cube is already solved, like this. If your cube is already solved, you have finished solving the yellow face and you do not have to do anything. The second situation is if your cube looks like this. So this is where there are all the cross pieces here, and then there is one yellow piece in the corner. So some people call this the fish, but I don't really call it anything. But all of your cases will lead up to this shape. So to line it up, what you have to do is you have to make sure that the corner piece, the one corner piece here, is in the bottom left corner. But also, you could get another case that looks just like this, but the corners on the side are oriented differently. So this case is if there is one corner and there is a cross. If you turn it like this, then there will be three corner pieces facing you. So look, here we can see one, two, 
3, and they will all be on the right side of the cube. If we turn it like this, we rotate it right side, right side, and right side, and then where the corner is, there's nothing here. So to do this, line it up so that the left corner is in the bottom left, and then you can look to see, this is an easier way to see if it's this case where they're all on the right side, is to just look down, and if it's facing towards you like this, then that means that it's good. So now what we have to do is we do, line it up like this and we do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U, two, R prime. And as you can see, the yellow face is solved. That is the second situation. Now this might look like the same situation, but it's actually the third situation. So as you can see, we have the bottom left corner right here, but if we turn it down or up like this, we can see that this there's supposed to be a yellow corner here and it's not facing up. Instead, if we turn it around, we can see that the that there are three yellow corners, as you can see, but instead of being on the right, right here, they're on the left. So now you know that you have the other case, like this. So to solve this, make sure that the yellow corner is in the bottom left, just like how we did with the second situation. But we're actually gonna do the same algorithm. So like this, bottom left corner, R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And now as you can see, it's not solved like the other one is. But what we can notice if we turn the cube around is that it's now this situation, the second situation, where all these are on the right, and then we can do our algorithm to solve it. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And as you can see, the yellow face is solved. The third situation is where there is just a yellow cross. No yellow corners here. There are also two yellow corners on each of these two sides, and there are no yellow corners on the other two opposite sides. So as you can see, we have two corners on this side, and on the opposite side, we have two corners. For this situation, what you have to do is hold it so that one of the two corners are to the left and to the right. So as you can see, here, these two yellow corners are to the right, and here, these two yellow corners are to the left. So now we know that we have it lined up correctly and we can do our normal algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U two, R prime. And now we can see that we have the second situation where all these are on the right. We line it up with the bottom left corner and we do our algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U two, R prime. And as you can see, we have the yellow face solved. Now the fifth situation is also yellow cross. But if we can see here that the uh, corners are different. So we look here, we see that there are two corners, just like there were before, but then when we turn it to the other side, there are no corners instead. There's a corner here and a corner here. So to solve this one, to line it up, what we have to do is we have to look if there is a yellow corner piece to the left. So as we can see here in this lineup, we can see this yellow corner piece is to the left and it's facing that way. So we just have to make sure that if this, there's a yellow corner piece facing that way. Here we can see one. And then also can be right here because look like here there are no yellow corner pieces but here we can see a corner piece facing to the left and once you have this corner piece facing to the left then what you can do is do the usual algorithm r u r prime u r u2 r prime and now we can line it up here and we have this one where there are three corners on the right and one in the bottom left and what we can do is do our algorithm again r u r prime u r u2 and we have the yellow face solved. Here we have our next situation. It's in a bit of a weird shape, but we can still do it. So as you can see, we have all of the yellow cross pieces, and we also have two other corner pieces on the yellow face, but they are diagonal from each other. To solve this, what we have to do is we have to look around the cube like this. So to line it up, and we see we have a corner piece right here. It's on the right, and it's facing it's facing towards us. So what we have to do is we have to turn it to the right. So now this corner piece is on the right and it's also facing to the left. That's what we need. As you can see, there is another corner piece right here, but we are not using it because it's on the left. So once we identify the one on the right, we identify that it's going that way to the left. Now we can do our usual algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U, two, R prime. And now you can see we have this situation where there's the yellow cross only and there's the two uh, corner pieces and the two corner pieces on the side too. So now we do our algorithm again to solve this. 
R U R prime U R U two R prime. And now we have the one that we used to actually solve the yellow face. So bottom left corner, right, right, right. And now we do R U R prime U R U two R prime. And we have the yellow face solved. Now for the next situation, we have this. So we have the cross, the yellow cross right here with all the edges. And then we have two corner pieces uh, right here in the back. So we can see that they are all connected. So there are two straight lines here and then just one thing here. So I kind of like to call this sometimes the goalpost because it kind of looks like a football field goalpost. As you can see, it's yellow and it's in the shape of a goalpost. And then here we can see that there are two yellow pieces right next to each other and they are facing us. So to solve this, make sure that the two, what I like to call headlights, are facing towards us. Then what we have to do is we have to do our usual algorithm. R U R prime U R U two R prime. And now as we can see, we have this situation, but it's where all the three corners are facing towards the left. So they're they're on the left side. So we can do our algorithm, R U R prime U R U two R prime. And now we have this situation where we use it to solve the yellow face. So bottom left corner, right? R U R prime U R U two R prime. And as we can see, it is now solved. So here's the last situation. So here we have the goalpost again. But if we look here, there are no headlights. The two corner pieces are actually on the two different sides like this. So to do this situation, we line it up the same way as the older one, the one that we did right before this. So we have the goalpost in the middle right here and the two on the side here, but we can still just hold it like this and do our algorithm. R U R prime U R U two R prime. And as we can see, we have the cross one where we have to match this up to the left so that it's facing left, as you can see. And then R U R prime U R U two R prime. And now we have this situation where bottom left and the three yellow corners are on the right. And now we do our algorithm to solve the yellow face. R U R prime U R U two R prime. And now we have the yellow face solved. So guys, that is all the situations to solve the yellow face like this. If this video helped you out to solve the yellow face, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down in the comment section what would you like next from us. And make sure to turn on that notification bell so you guys can keep learning how to solve the full Rubik's Cube. Don't worry, we are almost done. So anyways guys, this is Ryan from Slippy Duo, and I'll see you guys next time.